Today we're getting into Carlsbad, California. We're standing right on the border where all the zip codes meet. We got 92008, 92010. We're standing, well, technically in 92009, and then right on this way, we got 92011. So we're gonna dive in and give you a little insight into each one, characteristics of each one, kind of what makes each one unique. So if you guys are thinking about moving out here, we're gonna get you dialed in and help you choose where the best area for you in Carlsbad is gonna be. Hello, hello, I'm Cassidy Lewis. I'm Chris Erickson. And we are both real estate agents here in North County, San Diego. So if you are thinking about a move out this way, definitely get in touch with us, call, text, email. We love making these videos, but we also love helping people get out to North County, San Diego. Let's get into Carlsbad. We're gonna start in 92008, which is right behind us here. We're right in front of the Palmart Airport here in Carlsbad. And if you have been to Carlsbad, if you've been vacationed here or just starting to look at it, this is the zip code you'll see the most. This is where a lot of the tourism is, the village of Carlsbad, Legoland, the Crossings Golf Course, a ton of the amenities that Carlsbad have to offer are in this zip code. And there's a ton of housing and very diverse housing. It is definitely the community with the most character. And character wise, that like housing and also the downtown, it's one of the most diverse kind of downtown areas. There's a few different streets that are cruising around. You might hear that plane cruising right above us landing right now, but anyways, their houses are kind of like 50s and 60s. Well, the original ones were like 50s and 60s, ranch style houses, cottages. Since then, they have had a lot of expansion. Some have been torn down rebuilt in these huge big beautiful estates there's a lot of new condos going in like directly around the village area so downtown carlsbad village area is a hopping spot and that's kind of like the hangout spot that's where all the restaurants and bars and shops and all that kind of thing are so if you are living in that area it's going to be a quick little easy shot if you're living in old carlsbad or even the village or the surrounding areas Carlsbad Village is gonna be your go-to spot. And obviously Carlsbad is a coastal town, so it's really well known for its beaches. In 92008, there is a long stretch of beach, which also has, in different parts, has either a single boardwalk or even double boardwalk in some of the spots. So it's a great spot for walking if that's one of the amenities that you really want good spot to walk near the beach. It's definitely a good spot. And then just to the south in 92008 is the campgrounds of Carlsbad, which are right on the bluffs, kind of just west of 92011. And this section of Carlsbad is really big on tourism. So there's a bit, few big hotels, like compared to just south to Encinitas. Well, Encinitas just got a newer resort, just actually right on the border of Carlsbad. But Carlsbad as a whole, it's got a lot more tourism, a lot more hotels, a lot more places to stay. Obviously, Legoland's, all the attractions are right there. So if you are living there right there, it's gonna be a little busier during the summer times, so all that kind of stuff. The beaches are gonna get a little busier, but that's just a lot of that tourism coming in and enjoying Carlsbad as well. Next up on the list is directly that way. It's 92010, the biggest neighborhood in there. We're gonna call it Calavera Hills. There's a bunch, all these neighborhoods that we're gonna to cover today, there's a bunch of other little ones, but we're just classifying like the biggest one. So Calavera Hills is gonna be the biggest neighborhood in there. Big, huge track community. And that's what most of this area is, a bunch of homes. There's not too much infrastructure. You can go, a little bit north for shopping and stuff. There's a big mall up there. You can go down to the village, which you just mentioned. You can shoot down El Camino Real, there's some stuff. But for the most part, it's all housing in there. It's a great area if you like outdoors. Probably got the most outdoor space in all the neighborhoods we're covering today. Uh, Calavera, there's a bunch of trails out there. You can hike up the mountain. It's an old volcano that is now since extinct. The little lake down below, not much going on, little man-made lake. But a bunch of trails in there connecting. One thing Carlsbad tries to do is try to preserve a lot of open space. So they have a mandate that they try to keep a certain percentage of open space open and this area has probably the most of that like Chris mentioned it is pretty much all track neighborhoods there is a newer community called Robertson Ranch which is just kind of on the border of 92010 and 92008 so if you're looking for newer construction that is a good option and as a whole 92010 is gonna be the most affordable of all the other zip codes and that is a lot of that is just because there is a ton of housing in there and you've got condos you've got detached houses you do need a commute inland to like San Marcos Escondido anything like that if that's where you're working or shoot down the 15 if your job's out in Rancho Bernardo or something. 78 freeway is right there so you can hop on and shoot east and then south and you're good to go right there. Let's get into 92009 which is just behind the camera here and this is a huge community of a bunch of different track neighborhoods. Older, newer, you'll hear us say La Costa a lot. There are five or six different La Costas. So we've got old La Costa, you got La Costa Oaks, La Costa Valley, and just La Costa. And there's also a couple other ones. Bressy Ranch is a great one that's a little bit newer, which is just behind us here. And then Rancho Carrillo is just a little bit further east. And that is a really cool master plan community. So a lot of the newer master plan communities like that Rancho Carrillo, Bressy Ranch, 
there are going to be bigger homes on smaller lots, not a ton of yard in a lot of those communities. But as you go further south, there are some more like custom neighborhoods and also some um, older neighborhoods that are smaller homes on larger lots. So depending on what you're looking for, there are some definitely some options in both those categories. And then there's a ton of condo options too. One of the big ones is Meadowbrook, just on the border of San Marcos and Carlsbad. So if you are looking condo, there are a ton of options in, the, in this zip code as well. And 92009 is gonna be the most complicated when you're thinking about school districts. If that's like the, your main goal is to get into a certain one, 92009 has four of them. So it has San Marco School District on kind of the east side, northeast side of 92009. You've got Encinitas School District on the south side, which is also San Diego for middle and high school. And then you've got Carlsbad kind of on the north western portion of Carlsbad as well. And La Costa 92009 as a whole is pretty convenient area-wise. Bressy Ranch is like one of the most walkable neighborhoods here in Carlsbad besides the village that we mentioned earlier. There's a little town center, a bunch of restaurants and shops and all that kind of stuff right in there. And then you got La Costa. There's a few different shopping centers in there. There's a newer one, La Costa Town Square. They got a Sinopolis in there. There's a brand newer one that they just totally remodeled called the Beacon and it's right off El Camino Real. You got a nice little coffee shop, Lofty Coffee. You got a butcher shop, the Wise Ox, you got a few other spots, Shake Shack in there, and that place is gonna expand too because there's a few empty spots in there that they're gonna fill in with some really cool spots. So Gelson's is right across the road for kind of that higher end grocery store shopping. So there's just a lot, a lot of options and amenities. There's also two really big parks that are really easy to access, Alga Norte and Stagecoach Park. So if you got kids and stuff, it's a great little area cruise out there. Alga has huge swim facility, they have a skate park, they have a bunch of like baseball fields and stuff, huge playground. And then Stagecoach is great too to explore and check it out. And the last zip code that we're hopping into is the southwest portion of Carlsbad. It's right over this way. It's gonna be, we kind of refer to it as Aviara, even though there's a few different neighborhoods in there. You got a bunch of neighborhoods around like Poinsettia Park over there, just west of the freeway. There's uh, San Pacifico, so you got a development in there. But as a whole, we're gonna call it Aviar. It's one of the more lush neighborhoods as you're cruising through. And it's the most resort style neighborhood. You actually do have a resort right in the middle with the golf course. There's two different hotels right up there. There's a place to eat up there as well. So just driving through, a lot of trees, very green. Well, I see a different colors, I'm colorblind, but we're gonna call it green, really pretty in there. And it's just kind of that resort style living. You have some gated neighborhoods as well cruising through there. So 92011, as a whole is going to be mostly detached homes. There are kind of a couple pockets of either detached condos or condo style living. And for the most part, it is kind of newer track homes. So they are going to be bigger on smaller lots. Um, but if you are looking for a little bit more space, there are a lot of options in that zip code to get a bigger home. There's actually a really good little area if you are looking condos, Altamira. There's a few different developments or in there condo wise. They're just east of the freeway. But location wise, if you want like quick shot to the beach, it is super quick shot down at Poinsettia. And in this neighborhood, there's some trails cruising through. There's a lot of sidewalks. So if you got a stroller, bring the kids around, you know, when they're little, perfect little area. And there's also just to the south, Batiquitos Lagoon and it is killer few I want to say a few miles it goes kind of from inland basically El Camino Real down basically to the beach so it just tracks along the lagoon really pretty nice little area if you need to get out and it's just to the south of 92011 and for all these neighborhoods we've done vlog style videos boots on the ground showing you what's actually going on so be sure to check those out and if you want to learn more just check out the next video popping up we make videos every single week all around North County what's going on, what's happening, things to do, neighborhoods and everything in between. If you guys are thinking about moving out here, hit us up, call, text, email. We got your back. We're moving out to San Diego.